Well, you could have foxed me. These children aren't on holiday, they're at school. This is the Henry Mayhart Primary Girls' School in Waltham Forest, Essex, at their nature class. Their headmistress, Miss Davison, is nursing Brock, a three-month-old badger cub. Grosswald, the grey lag goose, is a very lucky goose. He won't end up as a Christmas dinner. And the girls are lucky too, because a naturalist, Fred Speakman, is a neighbour who not only writes nature books, but regularly takes them out on nature walks in nearby Epping Forest. 6,000 acres of woodland which once were hunting grounds for Norman kings. The city of London fought costly legal battles to stop Victorian landowners from cutting the forest down. And for a hundred years, their keepers have been trying to restore to a natural state the belt of trees dwarfed and gnarled through wholesale felling and pollarding. It's a fight now against tree diseases, litter louts, and thoughtless visitors who pick leafy branches to restore the forest to a balanced state and increase the famous herd of black fallow deer that has dwindled to less than 50. A grass snake has sloughed its skin here. There's always plenty to see and learn on these nature walks, which are lessons in the open air, science lessons, or sometimes lessons in ancient history. They're looking for Mesolithic flints now, and it's well over 2,000 years since this one was used as a hunting weapon. This is the print of a badger. There are foxes, stoat and squirrel in this woodland, where the trees are homes to owls, woodpeckers and stock doves. Now after your nature walk, have